It's Joshua back again with another review in the minute or less. Today is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. This game made by Monolith Productions represents a return to form for the Lord of the Rings franchise's game entries. Let's get into it. Part 1 Gameplay Gameplay revolves around how high you can raise that hit counter. There are a ton of cool abilities here, but what's really interesting is the orc hierarchy. Orcs have different ranks, they get promoted when they kill you or just off screen while fighting amongst themselves. They can even return to fight you should you not have dispatched them properly. Revolutionary System Part 2 Graphics and Artistic Style The graphics do the job but are now a bit dated the game coming out in 2014, but they've captured the Mordor style and colour scheme so well here. Part 3 Story You play as Talion, a ranger tasked with guarding the black gates that hold back no ends of monstrosities from the rest of the world. After said monstrosities break through and kill both him and his family, he is revived with help from a wraith. Now he cannot die, and he cannot live without revenge against those who took everything from him. If you like a third person game that pushes the gameplay first and foremost, fitting in the story around it, then you'll love this game. Joshua Score? A-. 